Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Matthew 6, 19 through 21. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home, and for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. This week, it's a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. Available on Android and Apple devices, just search for PCC Lafayette. School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. The Fire Ministry, the Free Indeed Recovery Experience will meet this Thursday night after prayer at 7 p.m. and will be starting a new series. You don't want to miss it. The Hebrew Softball League are continuing with games scheduled Sundays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. and Mondays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., all held at Arsenal Park behind Celebrity Theater in Broussard. So get ready to join us on the Diamond or in the stands. Join the Creative Arts Dance Ministry on August 17th at 10 a.m. for orientation to be a part of the team. It is open to all men, women, and children ages 12 to 17. Come be a part of the Creative Arts on August 17th. Please join the single ladies on Friday, August 23rd at 6 p.m. for a paint party. Come fellowship with other singles and uncover your talent for art. A fee is required for supplies. See Alicia Haywood or Marilyn Malvo for more information after service. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimony. Philly, we, we had it all morning. I have another brother standing next to me, Brother Curtis. Brother Curtis, I have the question for the day for you. And the question of the day is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? A guy by the name of Brian Mingo. And how he did that, uh, I had just moved to Lafayette, and when I got up here, I was looking for a church home, but I didn't want to go to no big church. I had that on my mind, I'm not going to no big church. So I went to about three churches around here in Lafayette, didn't find peace, didn't feel like it was where I wanted to be. And I finally remember what Brian had said to try Philadelphia. So I just went to a church that morning, didn't come to Philadelphia still, didn't want to come to Philadelphia for nothing in the world. So I went to Spirit of Liberty that morning and got frustrated because I was, I didn't feel fulfilled. So I realized Philly had two services, so it was 11 o'clock. So I said, well, let me just try it. It's probably gonna be another church I don't like. So when I got in there, I just felt a, a homely environment and then I could feel the presence of the Lord as I stepped in the door. But I was like, it's kind of unorthodox to say how church usually go. But then the Lord says, just sit here and watch how it goes. And as I began to worship and praise the Lord, and I, I looked over and I opened my eyes and I saw young kids praise the Lord and the whole church was praising it. The pastor didn't have to tell everybody to raise their hands. People just knew and wanted to praise the Lord. So the next week I was like, well, I don't know if I'm gonna go there again, but it was a good feeling, but maybe it was just a good feeling for that Sunday. But I came again. I said, well, I'm going to do it again. Just go praise the Lord and take my mind off the people. And so when I came the second time, I, I knew this where I wanted to be. Because I just, I would leave here fulfilled, and I would always leave here learning something that I never even knew. So uh, that's how I got the feeling by Brian Mango. There it is, Philly. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Let's give a happy eighth year anniversary to Roger and Katina Fontenet. Happy anniversary. We have another anniversary. Happy fourth year anniversary to Brandon and Denise Thomas. 
Congratulations. Let's give a big congratulations to Taylor Clay as he received a full paid wrestling scholarship to Kobe Community College in Kobe, Kansas. During his stay at Kobe, Taylor will be pursuing a degree in pre-law. Taylor and his family ask that you keep him in your prayers and pray for God's sovereignty over him in Kansas and beyond. Congratulations to Chaz and Dolores Duplessis, who gave birth on July 29th to a healthy baby boy. Praise God. He was 8 pounds, 1 ounces, and 20 inches long. His name is Cairo Hezekiah Duplessis. Congratulations. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Right now, stand to your feet. It's worship time. 